Hey everybody, it's Triple J, and welcome back to another episode of Bountiful Bayou here in City Skylines. And today, we are going to work on the public transport hub that we want for the sort of main downtown city area to connect up some of this rail and all that stuff. So, first thing that I think I want to do after looking at this. I think I want to have this road sort of turn and when it does, because hmm, I'm thinking about this transport hub to use, which only gives me one train line to bring through. But I think that might just require us to do some more train stuff in the future in terms of connecting up various lines. But let's let's take a look at this. So if I use this one, it does create a road through it. Now, the question is, if I turn Anarchy on, can I upgrade this road? No, but there is a cheeky little trick. If you use the crossings mod, it allows you to put crosswalks in between uh, on an asset that is attached to a road. But then what the game lets you do is upgrade those road chunks automatically, which is pretty cool. Now, the one thing it does to this road is it does put that pillar in the center. Not much I can do about that, but I also don't want to really get too upset over it because it's not that big of a deal. But I like this asset because you have the sort of the, the walkway, the elevated walkway that connects the both of them up. It is on the main road, which isn't great. That might end up being not great for us in the future, but I don't know. Maybe not. I don't want it here exactly because... For me, it's a little too close to the highway connection. I think. I think what we're going to want to do. So this road, this is kind of how I see this road shaping out. Is we're going to have this continue up. Like so. And then it's going to branch off in this direction and it's going to loop around this way maybe connect up to this rural highway over here and then this side is going to connect up to another connection point for this highway over here can't have too many connection points and then this road is going to carry through underneath this bridge go around this whole island part and then connect up to the highway over here that's sort of my plan. And then the grand downtown area is going to be sort of inside of this shape. And then everything else sort of in this big area is going to be gridded suburbs. On the left side of this. And then on the other side, you know, we'll do something else. But that's kind of my thought. I don't know exactly if it's going to work. But we don't really know if anything works until we try it. So. I think we should do it. Uh, is this not flat? Ah. A little bit of not flatness there. Let me pull this back. And, uh, yeah, there we go. I was like, why are those gone? Okay. So, if that is the case, let me pull this forward again. And about there, there. Maybe what we could do is right on this corner, we, we put this. And it's nice that it snaps to that. Is that, is that, uh, I'm assuming that snaps to be a 90. Ooh, the problem with that, though, is I don't have any flexibility with my 
the train lines. Hmm. Yeah, so then it almost needs to be... Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, yep, 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 okay, so, that's fine, let's do it here, and is that the side I want, which side is the train side, and which side is the metro side, I think that yellow is indicating the metro, I believe... This is the train. Okay. That's the side I want it on. <clears throat> okay. Let's just try it. So, let me take the crossings mod. Go like that. Upgrade. Very good. So then, that kind of changes how this is going to come together. Having it on both sides like this is a little constricting. Just because you're going to want, you know, this road. Well, I guess on this side, I think I'm just going to do underground metro in the city. I could do the above ground. Um, oh, boy. Yeah, these are lots of things. Lots of things to consider. But if I have a train line going this direction and this direction, it really hinders the ability to have that cross street. Let's take a look at some of the other transport hubs we have available. So the other thing I could do is the multi-platform station. Um, and then just have the metro in a different area. It's just so big. Like, I don't need six train lines, probably. I, mean, I guess I could figure it out. We could certainly use some of them. But the nice thing about the multi-platform... Yeah, I don't... That just doesn't feel... I don't think that's right. I mean, I like I like that asset a lot. But I think... For what we're trying to do with this, it's going to make a lot more sense to do something... Hmm. Yeah, this is tricky. It's tricky. The, the the plan I have doesn't really go... Doesn't really play well with what I was thinking. Hmm. What if I did it, like, to here... ideally I want it like almost on this corner but again we sort of run into this issue if I did the end station though everything would then have to kick out going the other way that we could do okay okay yeah that I can buy into so let me go a little bit further up then And then this is going to go this way. I'm gonna get I'm gonna grab myself just a little bit more uh coastline here. Or shoreline. So I can just go a little bit straighter. Oh, see it's gonna did that because flooding, a bit of flooding. And this is going to go... Hmm, this could actually look pretty cool. So I'm going to go out by 15. And up by 15. And then this multi-platform is going to sit right... Uh, oh, Strawberry Farm has reached level 3. We get an area bonus, efficiency plus 8%, pollution minus 20%, and the following buildings have been unlocked. Lemonade factory, milking parlor, medium crop field, and medium fruit field. Awesome. Okay. We will put a pin in that for a second. Still trying to figure this out. 
So you can play Skylines a very, very long time and still be immensely confused as to how you want this to come together. <laughs> um, I guess the best, the best way is to not do what I was going to do there and instead place this down here-ish facing this direction like so I guess that's far enough away this is just gonna be a lot of traffic and then that allows this to actually just go straight up for a bit and then what will happen is yeah we'll curve that around later once we unlock that tile and then right here it can go like that okay so then we're gonna have to water this whole area which i just realized so i'm actually just gonna pull these straight through this doesn't really it's not a huge deal i mean i'll just carry them all the way through like so I need all this anyway. Oh yeah, that was gonna be an industrial sector. I kind of forgot that I was labeling that a. Hmm. Well, let's just do this whole thing. We're gonna need it. Gotta play the water pipe game. Okay. So yeah, so then on this corner is sort of your public transportation and then next to it or across the street from it even, we can do the um like another like bus hub or something. I don't know. I want to make that very hustling and bustling type of an area. Okay, so then this will go curvy wurvy like so. Under the highway. And go straight for a bit. And then maybe just like that. And now that I'm seeing this, I think I just want like a straight, a straight curve. If that makes any sense. Which I don't think it does. Well, let me uh, grab a little bit more of this shoreline. Okay. So we'll take this. And I'm going to... Let's see. If I do... Let's go straight up to about there. So perfect to curve like that. Yeah, I can dig it. I can dig that. Okay, cool. So that's just like a general road system. Just kind of getting that in. Again, as far as zoning goes on this road, I don't want to do a lot of it. Like almost if any. The only thing I would maybe want to zone on here is, or or plop, is the train station and some of the, the metro hubs and stuff. And then leave it open for, you know, traffic to flow okay so let's connect up this rail so we know that we just have this locked in okay so this is gonna have to go across here and then swoop this way and connect up to there so we're gonna have to go over a little bit of water i don't think height is playing too big of an issue what i'm going to do right here is terraform this to be a little bit more so there's a little bit more play there and then kind of give that more of an of an edge and also what that does make that the same height or at least part of it. 
So I just want to give us... I, I also don't want this to be such a massive bridge crossing it. You know what I mean? Just going to solidify that a little bit over there. So we're kind of all on the same plane. Very good. Okay. So I may as well just use this far left one. And have it go straight up. Straight up further. And uh, let's go from this side. Straight ahead. And then we're going to want the, bri the train bridge. Up there. To... I want the three. Or the two, I guess. Two works. Down to flat. Well, no, there's there's another one there. So we'll go flat, straight across. And... Okay, so I'm going to do this. And this side will curve with the road. Like that. And then we can just go right into this. Nice. Yeah, we got some nice height there. That's flat. Uh, this dips just a skosh. There we go. Now we have this train line connected up. We have the downtown connected essentially with both of these stations. Now I could have this loop up and around and then connect it up to here as well. So then this is almost generating a gigantic loop. And then we could have a line going back and forth. That's kind of a interesting thought. I don't know. I don't know how I want that all to shake out yet, but it's good to have this sort of in place for when we start laying down more stations out in different areas. Like, we might end up wanting to have a station over here somewhere. You know? Like, out here. So I'm just going to label this. So train station. Um, and then possibly another one like up here somewhere. Yeah, we can unlock another tile. So we can't unlock another tile until we hit our 28,000 population. We only have access to our third loan at 17. Yeah. Yep. So we got a little bit of ways to go here with uh, our population. But if we can start developing some of this downtown area, we should... We should definitely be really cooking then with uh, the populace. We also have very good RCI demand right now. Very, very even. Again, trying to get rid of this industrial over here because we do want to place um, some residential living over here. And then move these. So I guess kind of doing this, we're, we're, you know, we're running up against the lines at this point. I still can't make that connection point yet. I think it might be worth... Actually, now that I'm seeing how I want this, let's go like this instead. Peel that back. Somewhere more like that. And that will get shoved straight ahead, connects up to there. Yeah, I think that'll be really, really nice. We'll put some, some cross streets in here and things. But before we do that, let's... Before we forget, more importantly, uh, we did upgrade our farming area. So now we have access to medium crop fields, which is kind of what we were waiting for. So I'm going to put down... Now, what do we have over here? We just have some uh, corn. And over here, we have some potatoes. Okay, so let's do a medium 
right here. And the nice thing about the medium crop fields is you still get a little of that little house. You don't get that on the small crop fields. So it's a really, really nice addition. And then this will be corn. And then over here, put down another one on this angle. And I'm going to slide it just a bit. And this is going to be cotton. No. Potatoes. I like how the barn changes to based on whatever crop you pick. It's a really, really nice little addition. Okay. We're starting to fill that in just a little bit. Now, we don't have options for the giant fields yet. That unlocks at level 4. Five. We do have a medium fruit field that we can put over. Let's see. Can I put that? Maybe like right there. And again, we're kind of making this an apple orchard, right? For everyone to come and pick some some apples and things. I'm gonna slide this just a little bit, and then let's end up doing this where we bring the pathway through be able to walk through the orchards And that can go all the way up to there. I think we're going to sort of buffer this with some trees. Actually, no. Don't want that to be that way. I'm going to go like this. And down. So then you have to access it, you know, at this point. Yeah, I'm wondering if there's like a little building I could put down that could sort of act as a, is there anything in the nature reserve? Hmm, I could put a nature reserve gate. But that's not quite right. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. What is this? Burden Bee Haven. Oh, yeah. This is a really, really nice asset. You know what? This would look good. This would go really well over here. And honestly, that little house could be sort of our, our way in. Okay, so what if we did this across the street here? Rid of that. I'm actually gonna redo some of this. I'm gonna slide these down just a bit like that. And then we put the bird and bee haven in. So there's like a little hut there. And that could be maybe where you pick up like your apple, you know little bags for the apples and things and then it also just really plays well with the dirt roads just do that and then a little bit there cool okay so I'm gonna take this dirt road I'm actually going to have it come cut up the back side of this. I'll show you what I'm doing. And I'm going to have it just end. Or can I just have it? Actually, yeah. Let me, I'm going to have this go all the way around. Okay. Sorry, I'm just kind of thinking on the fly here. 
and then we'll put a path in between those fruit trees. But then what this offer, what this allows me to do is get down another fruit tree patch. Right there. And one more over here for good measure. Cool. I really, really like that. See, there's always a way. You just gotta sometimes you just gotta think a little bit, get get a little creative with you know the assets you have, but the stuff is there. You just have to kind of you have to search for it, you know. Because the reality is, I could go on the Steam Workshop and I could get I could download probably like an apple orchard building, but if if you're like adverse adverse to sort of like some assets and things, this totally works. Or you could just plop a a building down, right? I mean, we're, we're playing a little pretend here, right? I, I mean, this, this is kind of what this is all about. You end up playing a little bit of pretend. That's okay. Mr. Rogers would be proud. So do there, and then can I also bring that there? Yeah. We'll do the same thing over here. And have this cut up and over. Nice thing is we can bring that all the way down. This is just for the paths for people to sort of walk through, right? Again, pretend. Uh yeah. Mm, sure. I can do another one on that side. And then what I'm going to do is take a little bit of fence. I'm going to create the farm fence. And that's going to extend. way there we're just gonna kind of fence this bit in beautiful on this side grab that node and slide it like so Very cool. And then what we can do is just a couple trees. You know, around in here. And then this can all essentially be forested. We don't have to do that right now, but we're just sort of, you know, deciding where that's going to go. Bring this down as well. And this will extend out to here. I don't think there's going to be anything else on this road that I want. I think this is just going to be a little bit of forestry and then continue the, the farms. 
Okay, so let's take a look at the strawberry farms real quick. So we are producing enough product, almost double the amount of product that we need for the next level. And we're about a hundred workers shy. Okay, cool. Well, we bounced around a lot. <laughs> we bounced around a lot in this episode, but we got some big things done and we got some little tiny things done. We got some of our transport hub hooked up made some decisions about that and then uh we also did a little bit of like some detail work over here with our nice little apple orchard that i think is quite lovely everybody that is gonna do it for this episode i will see you in the next one a bountiful bayou here in city skylines i appreciate all of you thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time